Hi everyone, welcome to Bob's Training and Decoder Solution. Uh, we're just here to help you uh, land your next big job. So feel free to shoot us an email at Bob's Training at Outlook.com for any questions you have. And uh, um, if you can read Chinese, feel free to subscribe to our WeChat blog right here. We'll constantly having hire managers here to you know recruit, or we will constantly publish um, technical interview news. And uh, if you want the best best mock interview experience in North America and also the cheapest one at this moment, feel free to check us out at thebothertraining.org. Um, okay, so let's move on to the questions. So today we're going to talk about this easy question called the longest common prefix. Essentially, is a red function to find the longest common prefix string among its you know, array of strings. So essentially, uh, the string itself has to be within, like for example, the first string has to be uh, if the prefix exists, it has to be within that first string as well, right? So there are generally two ways to solve this question. So one way is if you have like a list of strings, for example, something like something like this, uh, like A, B, C, A, B, D type of thing, or C, D, right? So in that case, uh, let's just say the longest common prefix is A. So you can do two ways. One is uh, horizontally, the other is vertically. It's, it's like you can you can compare the every two again, and then you have this prefix and keep matching. For example, after the first one and the second one, you have A, B, and A, B start matching with A, D. You, you can have A. The other way is you have the first one, and then you keep looping through the... But in that case, the worst case could be N times N. Each, let's assume we have N, N arrays, N strings, and times N each strings length because you can only realize you're, you're wrong at the last step, right? So the other way is actually matching character by character, like you always match the first character. So you, that's kind of, a, you can do essentially pruning, but worst case is still bounded as O, M times M, because you, you can only vary the on, the, on the last part, you can you still have to iterate through the, both the strings, all, the, all of the strings once, right? Okay, so let's just use the second way, because it's just the, in theory, in theory and in practice, it'll just be easier or more effective, okay? Be like this, and then what we can have is our prefix. So we already have the first one as our own, so we'll just uh, do this. It could be too early termination, right? So
So if there's no matching index in all these. increased at all. So as long as you have a length, so the previous one should be it, or it's not matching, so the previous one should be it, or else you will just keep increasing it, let's see. Um, This is a happy case, and let's just uh, go ahead and run this guy. Yeah, looks correct. So worst case still is m times n, like, I, like we just described in earlier. Um, the other way, just I suggest everyone just uh, go ahead and code it up. So here, just not do it. All right, thanks a lot, guys, for watching. See you next time. Until next time, we're out. Peace.